A royal expert has claimed Meghan Markle may regret cutting contact with her father if something happens to him, branding it a dangerous game. Robert Jobson, who recently released an unofficial biography on Prince Charles entitled Charles at 70, Thoughts, Hopes, and Dreams, urged the pregnant Duchess to give in to Thomas Markle's pleas for contact. Meghan, 37, and her father, 74, have reportedly not spoken since he missed her wedding to Prince Harry in May, after being exposed for setting up a paid photo shoot with paparazzi. And now Robert has warned Meghan that if anything happens to her father, who has suffered with heart problems and made a tearful plea to his daughter on GMB on Monday, any emotions shown would be branded crocodile tears. Speaking to the Express, he claimed, I believe Meghan is playing a dangerous game. When you still have both parents alive, you have no idea what it will be like living without one or both of them. He is not in the best of health and I would urge Meghan to make contact with him and to try and build bridges. Once he is gone, any tears that will flow will be seen as crocodile tears. She will regret not making contact if something happens to him. Meghan's reported silence towards her father follows a string of incidents including pulling out of walking her down the aisle after he set up staged paparazzi shots earlier this year. He then continued his campaign by giving an array of interviews, accusing Meghan of being controlling while pleading that she get in contact with him. Meghan has had to endure regular public outbursts from her half-sister Samantha Markle, and her father Thomas. On Monday, Thomas directly appealed on television to Queen Elizabeth to intercede and end his estrangement from his daughter whom he has not seen since he missed her wedding in May to Harry, Elizabeth's grandson. Speaking from the San Diego, he told Good Morning Britain, I love you very much, you're my daughter and I would really like to hear from you. Whatever differences we have, we should be able to work them out. He continued by telling host Piers Morgan, I'm very disappointed by it. I'm not sure why it's happening. He went on, this can't continue forever. I don't plan to be silent for the rest of my life. I love my daughter very much and she has to know that, and I would really appreciate if she would call me, just reach out to me. There has to be a place for me. I'm here, she knows it. Mr. Markle suggested Harry and Meghan may have been influenced by press reports about him, saying, the funny thing about my daughter and Prince Harry is that they believe everything they read in the paper. What's happened, I'm not sure. I'd love to talk about it. I think it comes back to the fact that reporters pick up on interviews I've done and write their own stories and tell lies. He also denied a suggestion that Meghan had a tendency to dumb people if she had no use for them, saying, that's really not a character trait. She's always been very polite to everyone never been rude to anyone. I don't know what's really happening right now." Mr. Markle concluded his interview by wishing Harry and Meghan a Merry Christmas and saying he would spend the festive period with friends, giving out presents to unfortunate children. Meghan has maintained a dignified silence amid his continuous demands, 